right by Jordan Headley and they will skate away to the right hand side not quite as big a crowd in here tonight as there was last night still plenty of support for the British team plenty of Union Jacks flying various teams represented and people traveling up to watch Our friends and families and teammates in this tournament Forbes under pressure can't move it along the boards Britain with some early pressure but the puck just steps out of the zone and taking it back in is Duggan two goals last night and a constant threat opportunity out front and a goal for Forbes the lines are rejigged and the goal comes from Forbes and Britain have an early lead great play by Alex Forbes he charged down a play that it's so Martin's made that early lineup change and um, part of the game has paid off dividends right away with some early support to the play. But again, just taking a puck to the net, working their play, and Alex, Alex, Alex Forbes there. Nobody picked him up as he moved into the center of the ice. Lots of EPL fans have tuned in to see their favorite players tonight, including Lee Massey, he's a Slough Jets fan, cheering on Cam McGiffin. Britain have got yet more defending to do. Here's Kim. Sent towards the goal and it's got a tip in. Choi Won Jai has put career ahead with a lovely redirect. Shot from the point there again. You know, just a bit of just a bit of pressure. We speak about it throughout the whole tournament. I think one of the teams, but all the Korean team did there was puck came back, shot on the net, cheap deflection. Jordan can't really see it goes down. It'd be a tough bit of you know, a bit of momentum here, switch from the GB team to the Korean team. This would be a big character test. Britain saw a first period and a third period lead disappear against the Netherlands. And it's all gone wrong for them within the space of four second period minutes here against Korea. Korea have up the tempo and they're looking dangerous and Headley makes another save. Britain just needs to get a little bit of control back into the game. They might do now through Richards. Onto his forehand and he scores! There's the response Britain needed from Ben Richards. Just a really good response from Ben Richards. You've seen that play last night with Alex Forbes again. You know, it's, a, it's the best possible response that you can have from any game. And Britain's goal was scored by Richards' assisted Bonner. So Lee Bonner a goal last night, an assist tonight. And all the whole Stingrays fans watching in will be pleased to see Lee doing well. And we are tied at 2-2 and we have a penalty coming in. We have a roughing call. And a Korean power play is coming up. I think Mike Strapper to be hard done by in that play there. You know, he's, the players, the Korean players come into him, just sit around down, he's just trying to push him off to get away from him to get back into play. So Britain are on the penalty kill. Michael Strafford in the box for roughing. Oh, and the goal straight from the face off. And Korea are back in front, and it's Lee Chong Hyun. And it didn't take long at all on the power play. No, he's, he's, he's the player for the Korean team that does it for me. You know, as I said before, as he's big, you know, carries the puck well, got a good shot, up muscled his man down low in the corner, walked it right out, went top shelf. And GB creating chances again. Richards shoots, just deflects wide. 4.20 on the clock. Would it be kept in? No. And suddenly career break, two on one. Pat save, rebound, and it's gone in, and it goes in on the backhand finish low, and Korea have another goal to lead by four to two. It's gone in, it's taken a deflection, and Duggan is going to be the man that's going to score that. It bubbled around, but Duggan gets the goal, and he scores again. What a great tournament he's having. And GB get that goal back. And only trail by one. Korea four, GB three. So just over six minutes gone in this third period. Cross-checking minor. Britain the man advantage. Korea have a power play goal in this game. Britain's three goals have all been even strength. Antonov 
Forbes goes to the net, that's where the pass goes. Oh, and it's gone in! In off the body, and Forbes has got another one. As we said before, as you know, it said number 10 goes off the ice there between the second and third, was given it to the GB players. And again, they'll take a lot of pride on that play. But then the goaltender's looking for that play, maybe a bit of this uncertainty, but again, referee's looking at his goal judge here to see if there's, he's gonna call this goal off. We'll have to wait and see if he's gonna allow it. And they are gonna wipe it out. The goal will not count. They will say that it was kicked in, but is that a decision that the goal judge can make? I think a Martin scrubs play there, he'll be a bit of, he'll be a bit aggrieved at that play. Alex Forbes comes across tonight. The play is shot, you know, hits him in the play. It's not intentional by any means. The referee's gone to his linesman. They backs basically walked away from it. You know, I think GB will be a bit disappointed in that call by the referee. A couple of changes on the fly. And GB are battling short-handed here. Good strong, strong work there by Lewis Hook. And now, Korea will come away. Already 50 seconds eaten off of the penalty kill. That's because GB were battling with Hook in the corner. But Korea have it behind the net. Step out in front, and Korea have scored. And they have scored with Sho Song Si. And they go two, nil, two goals ahead and lead by five to three. GB are going to have to gamble here. They're not in possession. All you know is in possession. And now Korea come forward. GB with Betteridge into the offensive zone. But Korea have a break. There's a trailing man. Lovely pass. It comes to him and he scored. And it is short. He Young who scores what probably will be the goal that breaks the back of GB in this game. And they are now trailing by six to three. The GB bench look at the referee and question something. And the Koreans are so, so thrilled. And they mob each other and they lead by a three goal spread. It's six three Korea. I'm afraid it could be game over. Here we go, man on the doorstep. There's two of them. Betteridge one, Antonov is the other. And Antonov scores, 2.14 to go. It's a two goal game, it's 6-4. We've got to think game on here, Chris. As I said before, there's not a lot of time left on the clock, but it's, you know, it's, it's one of those situations here where GB just, they said, you just got to get back in the game. There's still two minutes to play. Lots can happen, as I said earlier. 45.3 seconds. The coaching staff tell Ollie to jump in. Atwell. Right hand side now, into the offensive zone, Antonov. Antonov works the wall. 34 seconds. Oh, it's gone out of the zone. Forbes. Forbes now, one end to the other. GB have 20 seconds to go. Antonov has shoots and Antonov has scored. It's a one goal game with 20.4 seconds to go. It's 6-5. Hold on to your hats, folks. Duggan goes down. Plenty of time. Got to win it. Win it, Sam Duggan. He does, but it goes into the corner. Shot. It's deflected. Oh, it's just wide of the right-hand post. He wasn't far away. And GB put in a brave performance, but they lose by one. And it finishes. Korea 6, GB 5. Thank you.